You may remember Amanda Gilley's exclusive report on Thursday night about allegations a prisoner at Mount Eden was raped with a broom by three other inmates. Tonight, Amanda hears from a former inmate who now helps prisoners with their legal appeals and who says there needs to be a major overhaul of the prison system to curb violence behind bars. Chloe, come on. Come on. Martin Littleton treasures his time walking in the fresh country air. It's all right. For three years, the Auckland businessman didn't have that simple luxury. He was jailed for attempted murder. In 2008, he had a breakdown and shot a former business associate, and the associate's girlfriend, life behind bars, was dangerous. Come on through. When I was in Parimarimu, I was uh, attacked by a, a mad Chinese drug dealer. Uh, he, he attacked me and uh, he was obviously very fit, uh, broke my wrist. Violence, he said, was rife, especially in the Auckland Central Remand Prison, where King Cobra gang members ruled. And they were running fight clubs in the mainstream units, so a lot of people were getting uh, bashed up uh, in that fight club type scenario. What were the guards doing? In some cases, the guards were actually sanctioning assaults by inmates on other inmates. What do you mean by that? Uh, they were conscious that an assault was going to take place. They would leave the unit, the assault would occur, uh, then they would come back into the unit afterwards. Uh, and it was uh, discussed amongst the inmates that it was a, a guard-sanctioned assault. He tried to do something about it. I made complaints, I stood up and, and made complaints and was viewed as a troublemaker by the unit manager in the unit that I was in and as a result was transferred to Whanganui prison for about two months. As soon as I got transferred back I continued to complain about what I was seeing. I, I was disgusted. There were few programs or rehabilitation courses and so, he said, the inmates were bored and looked for trouble. And that really was the tragedy for me, just seeing the, the lost opportunity uh, to actually feed the brains of these people while they're in jail. So a lot of violence because of that uh, boredom. Drugs fueled the problem, much of it, he said, smuggled in, not just by visitors. The talk was that a lot of drugs came in with the guards. Uh, a lot of focus on picking up drugs coming in through visitors when probably the reality is a lot of the drugs came in through guards. Three News put the allegations to corrections who said historical complaints were easy to make but difficult to investigate. Staff weren't aware Littleton had raised the issues while in prison but said he did complain about the food. They had investigated the fight club but said the claims couldn't be substantiated and last year a program was introduced to help staff meet a high standard of professional conduct. Since his release from jail, Littleton studied for a law degree and helped inmates with their appeals. He's also written a paper for the Howard League for Penal Reform. He believes New Zealand should adopt the systems used in Canada, Finland and the UK, which concentrate on rehabilitating prisoners and reintegrating them into society. That would give inmates hope and reduce violent incidents. Amanda Gillies, 3 News.